I hate to break it to you, but Apple's iPhone announcement was boring. Orange phone, boring. Thin phone, boring. Sage phone, Okay, that one actually looks kind of pretty. But the big news for security folks that didn't quite make Apple's bento box slide was something called memory integrity enforcement. Now that sounds bory and wonky, but it's designed to help stop memory corruption bugs, which are by far the most common exploit targeted by commercial spyware. Basically, if you're making spyware, you're targeting memory corruption bugs. Now, Apple's implementation builds off of ARM's enhanced memory tagging extension that was introduced back in 2022, so it's not entirely new, but Apple is adding secure memory allocators to prevent memory overlap exploits that typically these types of vulnerabilities try to target. So they're adding something significant on top of this. There's a whole bunch of stuff. You should definitely check out their whole blog post about it. So all of this means we no longer have to worry about spyware on the new iPhones, right? Yay! Not quite. According to experts speaking to TechCrunch, this will raise the cost and time to develop new exploits. So spyware is still gonna be out there more than likely for these phones, but customers are gonna have to pay a lot more for them. Luckily, these types of spyware are never used by nation states with effectively unlimited budgets, right?